So check this out. First time ever I'm able to get away with my wife. We're doing spring break in Pensacola. I'm gonna meet up with a new kayak angler, somebody that y'all probably may know if you venture far out of the Texas area, but uh, pretty excited. Gonna do this seven, I think it's like seven hours and 50 minute drive. So a long road trip ahead of us, but super stoked to be able to fish for, well actually it's not gonna be a new species, but it's a new area. So hopefully we're gonna reach a new audience. And for those of you tuning in from the Florida area, welcome to the channel. I hope you are gonna like the show and you'll stick around for a little bit. And if I'm lucky enough, maybe you'll even click that subscribe button. Oh man, I'm telling y'all what, look how I'm- Head west on County Road 68 oh toward County Road 71. Can you shut up before Continue I wreck? County Road 68 <laughs> for one mile. I am I literally gonna wreck. This isn't recording you. All right, yes, so look at what we found in Alabama. And we gotta get some gas and what better place to do a number one or two than Bucky's. So it's pretty legit with the exception that they don't have anything in there that says established in Texas. Uh, it's a legit Bucky's. And restrooms were, I mean, they were amazing. Uh, it's good to see a Texas tradition outside of the state so that when we travel back and forth, uh, we have the creature comforts of home. We made it finally. And this is one of the most difficult Navy gateway inns and suites that I've ever came to. There are so many buildings here. I'm thinking that it's mixed in with like all the barracks, like the bachelor officer quarters. Who knows, but we're looking for room 121. I think it's this very corner one, sweetheart. And here we go. This is what $89 a night gets you in the military. <laughs> yeah, we got the creature comforts. That's all we need. And then tomorrow we're going fishing. Good morning, everyone. It's now 6.04 a.m. It's time for me to grab all my things, get out to the truck and go meet up with Caleb. Sure. Pretty good, man. Good God. to meet you. So, hey. hey, everyone, check this out. After seven hours of driving yesterday, finally here in Pensacola, Florida, with Kavartek Media, yes, right? Sir. Caleb. Uh, Caleb. Yeah, so uh, what are we going to do today? All right, man, we are going to be... Okay, so right now we're at um, a bait shop called Gold Priest Bait and Tackle. We're gonna get some live fiddler crabs, and we are going to be dropping these bad boys on bridge pylons. Uh, hopefully, getting on some stud sheep set, guys. I mean, we got some monsters here, so hopefully. Um, and there are some big black drums, so maybe right. we might get lucky. And, and dude, they are <laughs> huge. So it's been a minute since I've been on some sheep's head and black drum. The last one was out there in Keller Bay, so uh, looking forward to this. Let's go inside there and get. Some some bait okay so the sheep's head thing I, I'm y'all know that I am used to fishing for sheepies but it's like I'm throwing tiny little crankbaits so here we're gonna do the fiddler crab thing I'm no stranger to using live bait but this is gonna be a first for me and I cannot wait to get out there and actually feel the tug on one of my tiny little ultralight or extra light ultralight whichever one happens to get the call of duty then uh, I can't wait to see how enormous and the fight that these fellows are gonna have. Swivels, okay. Mm -hmm. So you just wanna put your weight on like that. And All right. Then you wanna tie this. About how many feet, like maybe? Probably about like two. Two, okay. Maybe a little bit more. All right, so what we're doing, Carolina rig right here. Caleb just showed me what he's doing. You get about two feet of leader line. This is a 25 pound test. Uh, main reason, I know y'all, are like whoa that is heavy in comparison to what you're using or what you use back home but out here the the sheep's head are going to be strong enough to whenever you first hook them they're going straight towards the pylons and Caleb said that you can actually feel that your line rubbing against them pylons so 
Hopefully my 10 pound braid is gonna hold up. If it doesn't, well, y'all gonna see a grown man cry. There we go. All right, girl, first time in Florida waters. How do you like it? I tell y'all what, there is nothing better than having your own personal guide who is also a fellow creator in the online world of YouTube. So Caleb has also got his YouTube channel. I don't know if I told y'all that earlier. Uh, Kavartek Media. Check him out. He's going to be linked in the description down below. Uh, you can see the style of fishing that he does. It's somewhat similar to what we do back home. Uh, he's going after redfish, he's black drum, sheep's head. Uh, do y'all go after flounder? Oh, yeah. Yeah, flounder, okay. Trout, mangrove snapper. Mangrove snapper. Wow, that's. We have those at our jetties, but I mean, they're small. Yeah, they're... That's probably one of my favorite fish, man. Uh huh. I love catching them. Like, they fight so hard, too. Yeah. Basically anything that that bites, man. Yeah. So, see, it's it's similar to what we do back home, except it's a different setting, and the water is reminiscent of what we got down there in the Laguna Madre, uh, Corpus Christi area. So, yeah, definitely check his channel out. If you like the content, stick around for a little bit. Subscribe. Sorry, fellas. I thought I was recording. Uh, so what I said was, <laughs> we got two of these uh, little fellas hooked up. The the hook is exposed, and now it's time to get the show started. Just dropping down. Are you going all the way down? You said right. All the way to okay. The oh my gosh! This guy is like right up here. Never mind the kayak, buddy. Yeah, he's massive. So the pylons didn't work out for us and we decided to come over here to these fenders. The sheep's head are here and they are massive. I think he's keying in on my... There he goes. Are you going to bite it, buddy? Maybe not. Uh, it's a matter of getting them to bite. Uh, I mean, they are here and goodness gracious, I cannot... My gosh. There are tons of them here and... They're not even scared of the kayak. All right, fellas, I'm going to have to really concentrate hard and get get one of these turds to bite. Boy, these guys, it's as if I'm tossing pinto beans, man. These guys are not going after the fiddlers that we got. Where'd they go? Look to your left. Left, left, left. Oh my god. Do you see that? Bro. Dude, what in the world is going Holy. on? Holy. Do you see that? I just... Dude, red snapper. What are you that? kidding me? Those are big. Holy cow. Oh my God. Wow. That was definitely Absolutely amazing. And they're just swimming all through the structure down here. It is insane. Absolutely insane. Normally in Texas, we're going to have to go out to one of the artificial reefs. Closest one that I know of is about three miles away from the beach and that's a long ways out there just to get to about 30 feet and these fellas are just right here. Holy, this is absolutely insane everyone. Bro, I'm like a kid again just trying to figure out what's what's going to get these guys to bite. Oh, there we go. We got one. So what is this? Look at the color that he's got. What we're going to do is get our scissors. If we can find them. There they go. And we're going to cut this guy up. Let's load up a piece of this. Oh, there he goes. There goes one right over there. Where is he? There he is. All right, let's see if the pinfish get it. The red snapper is literally right there. He's eyeballing the bait. Oh no, he's coming up. There he goes, he's going for it. 
He's going for it. No, he turned away. You turd. Dude, I like filleted that up for you, especially for you. Now the pinfish got it. What is up with that? Being select, I mean, you want me to throw caviar? What up, bro? It's just a bummer. I mean, you can't make these guys bite, even though we saw tons of them down there. Yeah, we saw them. Yeah, check this out, fellas. I am going to keep these guys right here, what I have left. That's probably about two dozen inside there. And we're going to keep them in a truck. Come back out tomorrow. We didn't have the bite on our side today because these fellas just didn't want to bite. But we will be back tomorrow. At least I know I will for sure because I got to get some footage for y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, click that thumbs up. I'm not going to say till next time tight lines because I will be back out tomorrow. After a tough day's fishing, reeling in all the big ones, it is, uh, <laughs> it's time to eat and I'm starving. My wife picked this place out. Uh, it's, what's this, a Seaville Harbor, but I believe it's called the Fish House. Uh, like an appetizer. Crab cake sounds good though. It does sound good. Plump crab cake served over. Do you want that? With the crab cake? Yeah. Is it just one crab cake? Two crab cakes. Two? And okay. Appetizer. We'll take that yeah, then. Okay. Right. Be right back. Thank you. It's just tough. Happy the way I'm knowing. Yeah. Pretty tough. But you've had days like that too. Sometimes you go to places and you catch and then you go another time and you don't. So. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, Hello. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't want to ruin something. Here we go. Thanks a lot. Uh, was there anything else to bring up here? No. No, thank you. Fish tacos? Thank you. Of course, of course. Thank you. Anything else you can bring up here? Oh, that's going to be all. Thank you. Enjoy. Highly recommend this place. Uh, the smoked Gouda grits. You've definitely got to try them if you're ever out here at the fish house. It's got a really good view if y'all could see that from the video. And uh, I did the blackened snapper. It was okay. Uh, edible, palatable. Uh, I honestly think my blackened redfish tastes better than the blackened snapper that they served. It does kind of sting a little bit not being able to have uh, catch fish today, but I guess that's that's what it's all about, right? Fishing? <laughs> A lot of y'all, that's what y'all would probably tell me. That's why it's called fishing. 